Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming you a really exciting video. Um, pretty much I'm just going to film myself getting ready to go to the fair. Um, where I live, we have a local fair and everyone goes to it. So like the people that I don't see or play sports with during the summer, I get to see there. Um, so yeah, it's really exciting and it's super fun. So if you want to see how I get ready and prep for the fair, I just like pick out like a cute outfit and do my makeup and my hair and stuff, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, so first off, I'm just going to throw my hair up into a bun and use a clip just to secure it. And then I'm going to put a headband in to make sure all my little like baby hairs don't get in my way while I'm washing my face. And I'm just using these um, Aveeno products. The first one is the foaming cleanser and then the second one is just the daily mo moisturizer. And I've really been loving these. These have been helping keep my skin clear which I really like and they feel really good after you're done using the products and your skin just feels super soft and that's always nice. So then once I'm done I just apply the moisturizer. And then this is just my outfit for the fair. Um, both of the halter top and the shorts are from Garage. Then I just start on my face and I start off priming my face with the Smashbox primer water and then a Smashbox hydrating primer, I'm pretty sure. I'll list all the products that I use down below. And then I just use the baby, um, the baby skin like pore filler thing. And then I just use um, a really light foundation. Um, I usually use like light products on my skin during the summer if I even wear anything just because it's summer and you don't really want to like feel like your skin is like really heavy and cakey and stuff. So I just use that and then I use my concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me and then I go in and I blend that out with my e.l.f. blending brush. Um, some of these products are kind of new actually so I'm not really sure of the name of some of them but all of the products will be listed in the description box. Then I just go in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot on my eyelids to conceal any of my veins. Then I just go in with my NYX um, jumbo eye pencil I believe this is in milk and I actually use this kind of as like a subtle highlight on my cheekbones and my nose and my cupid's bow and then I just drag some on to my brow bone as a highlight and I also blend that in on my eyelids then I just fill in my eyebrows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz and I just fill those in lightly where I need it and where there's some sparse areas and then I just blend that out with the spoolie brush on the other side then I just go in using this Tarte eyeshadow palette that came in a set and actually this is in mine. One of my friends gave it to me because it came in like this box or something and it came with another one and she doesn't use the other one so she let me borrow this one. So I don't really know the names of the colors because it came with like one of those plastic sheets over it and it had like the names for each one um, where it was in the palette. So I'll leave those colors and all the names in the description box below but pretty much what I did was I just put a um, light color all over my lid and then I put a taupe color in the crease and then I'm just going back in with my blushed palette by Maybelline I believe and I just go in with a deeper color in my crease over that taupey color from the Tarte palette and then I go in back with the Tarte palette on this fluffy eyeshadow brush and it's like a gold copper color that's how I would kind of describe it and I just blend that all over my crease Then I go in back with the blush palette on this smudge brush by Sephora and it's just a deeper bronzy color and I just add that to the outer parts of my lids. Now I just go in with a pencil brush and I go in with this matte deep brown color and I just add that to the outer corners of my eyelids. Then I just go in with my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter and I highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. <laughs> then I go in with my Maybelline gel eyeliner and I was trying to find the brush that came with it but I end up just grabbing my Sephora eyeliner pencil or eyeliner pencil my eyeliner brush 
And this is one of my first times using this gel eyeliner, and I actually really liked it because it was super creamy. So if you are wanting to try out a gel eyeliner, then I definitely recommend the Maybelline one. Also guys, sorry if my voice sounds kind of like raspy. I don't really feel that good right now, so just like don't mind my voice. Then I just used my Roller Lash Mascara because I'm in love with it. It is su super, I'm, I was just like going to say super and so at the same time, so it came out really weird. But it's super good, and I definitely recommend it if you want your lashes to look really long and really voluminous. And then I go in with my Kat Von D um, contour kit, and I mix the like the banana shade and then like just the other lighter shade under my eyes, and I just set my T-zone. Then I go in with my Tarte bronzer and a bronzer brush, or a contour brush by Real Techniques, and I just draw a really harsh line where my cheekbones are, and also my forehead, my jaw, and my chin. Then I just blend everything out. And then I go back in with the Kat Von D contour kit and I just kind of make my contour a little bit more precise with a lighter shade. Then I contour my nose with like the cool toned contour color and then I just blend that out. Then I highlight with my Soft and Gentle by MAC and I use an e.l.f. small stipple brush. Then I use a MAC blush and I just warm up my apples. Then I go in with my Clinique chubby stick that I got all over my teeth and I just blend that out. And then I go back in with a Buxom lip crayon over that and the, just like the mix of these colors looks super pretty. And then I set everything with my Urban Decay setting spray. Now that my makeup is done, I just go back into the bathroom and I brush out my hair and I actually then like do a kind of a messy part with the brush and I split my hair into two sections, make sure that all of the tangles are out and then I use a Herbal Essence um, key protectant spray and then I just go back in and like tie up one side of my head that I'm not going to straight, well that I'm not straightening at that moment and then I just straighten the one side of my head and then for the time's sake, I just skip over um, straightening the other side of my head because I'm pretty sure you guys know how to straighten your hair. So, yeah. Then, once both sides of my head are straight, I just go back in and do any touch-ups um, just in case I missed a spot or anything like that. And then I just go in with my Garnier Fructis, like, oil, sleek, and shine, I'm pretty sure it's called. And I just go in and make sure that it kind of helps my frizziness and I just blend that all over my hair. Then I just use some KMS um, dry shampoo and I just spray that to my roots to add some volume and then as I said I just go back in and touch up some spots that I may have missed and that's about it. Then for jewelry, I'm just putting on my loci bracelet, and then I stack two Pandora rings, and of course I drop one because I'm literally such a klutz, but then I just pop in some pearl earrings with that, and then I use my No Artis perfume by Victoria's Secret, and then I use a roller perfume by them too. I'm not sure what this is called, but I'll link it in the description box, and then I put on my white Converse. And then that is just my, like, completed outfit for the fair. So that was me getting ready for the fair, and I'm super excited to go because, well, it's also kind of sad because today is the last day, and I'm pretty sure they have fireworks, so yeah. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me do any more get readies with me. Or I'm going to be starting some back to school videos soon, which is extremely depressing. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!